today I'm finally going to say goodbye to Modern Warfare 2019. Normally, I would have more time to put into a video like this, but after taking three years to finally say goodbye to this game and literally just making Rip Vanguard, yeah, let's not keep melting my brain beyond repair. Not like there's that much to melt, am I right? <laughs> Also, for what it's worth, I literally moved during the end of this game's life cycle and I did not have any time to make this video, which is why it never happened back then. And lastly, before I deliver this beautimous commentary, I would like to explain the difference between RIP videos and goodbye videos, or at least how I see them nowadays. I first started this little mini series with RIP Advanced Warfare, and I also made RIP Black Ops 3 because at that time, I was extremely frustrated and disappointed with how the games turned out in the end. And like many others at the time, I was getting fed up with XO Call of Duty games. But by the time we got to Infinite Warfare and Modern Warfare Remastered, I felt like I was being too harsh on these games, especially Infinite Warfare because I didn't really play it all that much. And in retrospect, the Advanced Warfare and Black Ops 3 videos should be more like goodbye videos because I actually miss those games and how fun they were. I just wish they didn't get fooked up by microtransactions and douchey players, but that's out of my hands. If it's a rip video nowadays, it either means the game is bad or it's dead to me. If it's a goodbye video, it means that the game was either good or I think that the game will still potentially hold up after many years to come. Which is why I'm finally bringing you guys goodbye Modern Warfare. 2019. I remember when this game was first announced and how excited I got to hear that Modern Warfare was back. Captain Price would be returning as our lead character and that there was going to be a true emphasis on what made the first Modern Warfare game so great. Attention to detail. The original Modern Warfare, Call of Duty 4, revolutionized Call of Duty for making bold additions and changes to the game. Perks, kill streaks, create a class, prestige mode, leveling up, unlocking camos, to name a few, are just some of the things that a Call of Duty game had never done up until that point. COD 4 also nailed the photorealistic aesthetic, almost too well for some people's taste. But overall, this is what set the tone for the Modern Warfare subgenre. Bold and realistic, but at the same time arcadey and a fun Call of Duty experience. Then came Modern Warfare 2, which cranked it to 11 with shotgun secondaries, one-man army noob tubes, pro perks, and the game-ending nuke. And in some aspects, Modern Warfare 3 arguably cranked it even higher with regards to the almighty specialist bonus, making you feel nearly invincible as you climb your way to a Moab. This is just a small amount of the expectations that the Modern Warfare games laid out for us. Badass soundtracks and spawn themes, a believable atmosphere, yet over-the-top action, and a complete pivot from the roots of the original Call of Duty games. And Modern Warfare 2019 was no exception to the rule. The outstanding attention to detail, photorealistic graphics, fast time to kill, anxiety-inducing soundtrack, Barry Sloan, ground war, gunfight, Barry Sloan, free DLC for life, obsidian camo grinding until you get carpal tunnel, Larry Bone! This game had it all. Until it didn't. <laughs> Destiny dialogue. <laughs> Modern Warfare 2019 hit the nail on the head. It was whacking the shit out of those moles at the beginning. The Modern Warfare campaign was phenomenal. Spec Ops was okay, but we gave it time to improve. And multiplayer was amazing, and we thought it could only get better. But this is where things started to get kind of questionable. One thing we have never seen for a Call of Duty game at this point is a DLC expansion for the campaign. And even though in a sense we're going to be getting this with Modern Warfare 2 2022, they could have considered it for Modern Warfare 2019. I don't know how Infinity Ward could have implemented this for Modern Warfare 2019, but I wish there was somehow more of it to play because it was the highlight of the game for me. I have felt the same way about the first three Modern Warfare campaigns as well. It would be so amazing to see these storylines continue to be built upon and to expand what we love even more. But what happened instead? We got new Spec Ops maps and missions, which are just reused assets from Ground War. New maps in multiplayer turned out to be either remakes of old maps or actual new maps that were competing with Stonehaven to see which one is more boring. Spoiler, they both win. The concept of bold innovation that Modern Warfare 2019 needed in order to live up to the standards of the great Modern Warfare games before it ended up slipping through the cracks as the game's life cycle went on. The campaign held up, but Spec Ops right off the bat took a big step backwards from what Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3 did. And sadly, it never took any steps forward as time passed. Same goes for multiplayer. There were so many good maps that could have been brought back to this game. Imagine going for long shots on Bog or High Rise. Mission and Dome from Modern Warfare 3 were so good, but it looks like Vanguard gets half of that dream for some reason. Showdown and Wet Work could have been great additions as well. The map remake choices overall were pretty decent, but the problem is that every season brought us only one remake map and one new map, and the new maps were generally not very fun to play. This same principle seems to apply to the rest of multiplayer for Modern Warfare 2019's life cycle. Instead of taking the leap and continuing to add new maps, new guns, create new game modes from scratch, and truly make those ambitious innovations, they got spread too thin. Not just because they were trying to supplement ground war and gunfight content as well, but because of something even bigger. <laughs> 
Warzone became a storm that even Modern Warfare could not weather. The free-to-play battle royale option that used Modern Warfare's assets ended up exploding in popularity. Prior to the release of Warzone, Modern Warfare 2019 was living like a king. But as Warzone continued to dominate in popularity, Modern Warfare was left no choice but to retreat and become the jester. Since Warzone gained so many monthly active users and so much money for Activision, the focus sharply shifted onto hyping up Warzone instead of continuing to improve upon a great foundation that Modern Warfare 2019 had laid out for us. We could have gotten more meaningful updates with more content, but Warzone was now the center of attention. Am I perhaps looking at this through the wrong lens? Modern Warfare 2019 came first, right? The campaign, Spec Ops, and multiplayer were all in development, and later on they decided to add Warzone, right? Assuming that's the case, then they must have just taken all of those existing ground war maps and glued them together to make the Verdansk map for Warzone. Although, if you think about it, it would have probably just been a lot easier to just make the entire Verdansk map first for Battle Royale, and then divide up the map into smaller sections for us to play on. Oh, uh, right lens, wrong perception. Don't feel bad, they had me fooled as well. They had all of us fooled by making it seem like Modern Warfare 2019 was gonna be the golden child, the game that would actually get new and especially old COD fans to fall in love with a Call of Duty game again for more than a month. But for what feels like the millionth time, that was not in the cards for us. The reality is that a free-to-play battle royale game that could become popular had the potential for Activision to make a lot of money, especially to offset the free DLC that Modern Warfare 2019 was going to be giving us. Call of Duty War Warzone would be the main priority, and Modern Warfare 2019 would just be the launching pad for it. If you don't believe me, or you don't believe that this was conceptually Activision's strategy, just take a look at Cold War and Vanguard. These games were created to add variety to Warzone and Warzone alone. The main difference is that Modern Warfare 2019 and Black Ops Cold War benefit from the previous existing subgenres, unlike Vanguard. But regardless of sales and whether you like or dislike any of these three games, they all suffer the same fate. At the end of the day, all of their paths lead to Warzone. It's like a parasite that sucks the life out of the games we love. And as time has gone on, COD players have not only taken notice, but they're getting sick of it. It's clear as day that these games only exist to pump new life into a battle royale game that's going to expire soon. On a more positive note, it seems like players are catching on to the nonsense and responding by, well, not buying or playing the newer Call of Duty games. There's not much else we can do at this point. This community is teeming with what seems like an endless amount of good ideas for the franchise, but it usually goes unnoticed and the games that get released end up being letdowns as a result. But this is where Modern Warfare 20 2019 differs for me. I wouldn't say that Modern Warfare 2019 as a game was a letdown or disappointing. I mean, maybe at times when I was frustrated with the multiplayer, but what is truly disappointing is how the game was treated post-launch. Modern Warfare was not a bad launch game. If anything, I think it's one of the better Call of Duty launches in a long while, but as time went on, the game slipped through the cracks and could not be found. Literally. If you try to find and launch Modern Warfare on Battle.net, you have to click Warzone instead. This game was robbed of its identity. A perfectly good game on its own with tons of potential, completely squandered. As opposed to supporting and focusing on improving the existing game, it got lukewarm updates and DLC while Warzone got the main stage. And ironically enough, Warzone also had to suffer through a lot of problems and challenges over the last couple of years. The weird obsession with trying to cram the latest COD games as weapons into Warzone ultimately became the breaking point for every game involved, and especially Modern Warfare. Modern Warfare is apparently officially dead. I really did not think I'd end up releasing a video titled Modern Warfare is Dead and Unplayable, but it happened shortly after the Vanguard and Warzone integration. This was sadly a driving factor in my decision to finally make this video. It was one thing for Warzone to be a leech that feeds off the success and hype that Modern Warfare 2019 started with, but it went too far when it destroyed the game. And even though most of, if not all of these issues have been fixed since then, thank God. At that time, Modern Warfare experienced a myriad of issues after the latest integration. Weird audio issues throughout the entire match, lag and stuttering, broken menus and UI, killstreaks not working, specialists not working, Xbox and PC players being locked out of Spec Ops survival mode, the list goes on. It just doesn't make sense to me that Warzone needs to be this obese succubus that keeps feeding off of the newest COD game. Why not just make unique content for Warzone that is separate from the other COD games? That would give exclusive Warzone players even more to look forward to, and it would keep the other games intact. Initially, the notion of weapon integration sounded interesting, but after seeing how they actually turned out, I would rather just see them add new, unique Warzone-only guns into the game. It seems like that would have been a lot easier to do as well, since the guns that are balanced for Cold War and Vanguard multiplayer usually end up having to be rebalanced for Warzone, making for inconsistent feeling weapons across the board. But that's enough suggesting good ideas for one video. It's high time we say goodbye to Modern Warfare 2019, another Call of Duty game in the pile of COD games with squandered potential. But who knows, maybe if we get Modern Warfare 2 as Call of Duty 2022, it won't turn out to be another COD game that's solely created to pump more new content into Warzone 2. <laughs>
doubt it. Normally, I would close the video with showing my favorite moments from playing Modern Warfare over the last year or in this case, the last three years. But I simply took too long to make this video, and I do apologize. I didn't get to give Modern Warfare 2019 a proper send-off, and while that's mostly because we moved during the end of the game's life cycle, and I literally had no time to make this video, I also didn't want to say goodbye to this game. I truly felt that Modern Warfare was a special game, much like how I feel about the original Modern Warfare. The quality and care put into this game initially is what had me hooked, and even though I know for a fact that there are people who still play Modern Warfare over Cold War and Vanguard, it's time to move on to the next chapter. Modern Warfare 2. The game that will look back at the previous mistakes and complaints from Modern Warfare and fix it all. We're talking about no skill-based matchmaking, no camping, no cheap BS, and close quarters fast-paced maps that don't rhyme with nit pinch. Wait. Oh no. Don't tell me. They're not going to listen to the community? <laughs> well, that's just some shocking news, isn't it? Okay, okay, I know I'm just poking fun, but I really shouldn't be too overly critical yet. Just like every year for the last 10 plus years, I'll buy the newest COD game, give it a try, realize it's not what my teenage years' COD experience was like, and I'll either stick with the game because there's nothing better to play, or I'll stick to Warzone 2 because I hate myself and I truly love the idea of torturing myself in video game form. Sound like a plan? Sweet! But for real, after mostly enjoying what Modern Warfare 2019 had to offer, I'm excited for Modern Warfare 2. I can't say for sure if this game will vastly improve or innovate from the previous Modern Warfare, but if you liked Modern Warfare 2019, you'll most likely like this game. And I had a lot of fun playing the Modern Warfare 2 beta, and I want to see this game succeed and be good. I want COD games to simply just be fun, so we can all relax and have fun playing a good Call of Duty game again. Thank you all for listening and continuing to support me and my content regardless of how COD has changed over the years. I will always be passionate about Call of Duty and do my best to make the best possible videos for you guys. You guys are the whole reason I do this in the first place, you're the fucking best and I love you all so much. And regardless of whether or not new COD games are good or bad, I will still try my best to enjoy them, to have fun, and to be there for you guys through it all. And with that being said, thank you very much for being patient and hearing my final thoughts on Modern Warfare 2019. If you did enjoy this video and you're looking forward to Modern Warfare 2, make sure to drop a like. I'll see you guys later. Come, Tango. Boom. Boom.